Hello friends and welcome to Edupedia World Videos. This is the course overview for basics of programming in C language. About the course. This course is a very basic level course designed for those who are beginning their foray into programming. Okay, so although this course is mainly focused on C language, but it also teaches some programming concepts along with C language which you can utilize in other languages also. So it is not that only those who want to learn C language should concentrate on this, on this course. Moreover, this course is designed to touch the topics which form the base for higher level courses. So if you want to take up any pr higher level programming course, you can take up this course first and it will actually create a foundation for you which gives you the basic knowledge to grasp the higher level concepts of programming okay and you should be clear of this thing that this course does not cover the higher level uh, topics of C so the advanced concepts are not covered in this course this is only for the beginning purposes this course is intended to help those people who want to learn programming in C language okay and moreover this course is also beneficial for students who want to learn basic concepts of programming as the programming concepts covered in the course will form the basic building blocks for other programming languages also and this program is also intended to help engineering and school students in their curriculum studies so it will cover all the major topics which a basic C course should include. What all will you learn when you actually take up this course? Okay, After taking up this course, the students will be able to set up a C programming environment on their personal computers, which is the first most important thing that one should know. So how to set up a programming environment is a task that you should know before starting programming only then you will be able to do the practicals at your own will okay so you should also learn to use the C programming IDE so IDE is what IDE is actually integrated development environment you will learn about this IDE more when you learn uh, when you go through this course but this program tells you how to use your IDE which includes how to compile your program how to debug your program and various other stuff that an IDE provides this program also tells you about the basic structure of a C program so execution programming and logic is one way but understanding how a C program actually works okay what is the structure of a C program and it is loaded into the memory that is a very important thing when you have to write an optimized code. This, this course lets you uh, walk through through the structure of a C program. Then it gets you worse with the basic programming concepts like loops, okay, the conditional statements, recursion, etc. So these concepts you can use them in any language. So even if after learning C you are going to learn Java, then also loops, conditional statements, and more of most of the logic will remain the same the only thing that varies is the syntax of the language okay apart from this you will also learn about the basic data types of C language and how to use them in your code using the functions in C language and breaking bigger codes into smaller ones by the use of these functions so all these concepts that you are looking at them right now these are very important for any programming language okay after that you also learn to handle string in a C program that is a C specific topic a very good topic because it tells it makes the logic clear inside you it tells you actually how to iterate through a list of characters and how you can manipulate each character although in high, higher languages uh, more advanced languages like Java and all you don't have to actually manipulate the strings like you have to do that in C. In Java, you have various classes, various functions already available to manipulate the strings for you. But in C, you have to write the code for all of these manipulations yourself. Okay. Apart from it, you will also learn the basics of pointers. 
So pointers is a functionality that is not there in many of the higher level languages, but C has this functionality and this is what you will learn in this course. But in this course, you will only learn the basics of pointers, okay? So which will tell you what is a pointer and how you can use the pointer, but it will not go into the very advanced concepts for which we will be talking maybe in the advanced C course. Then apart from this, this, uh, this course will also tell you how you can make files in C, how you can create files, how you can read files and how you can write the files in C language. So this will actually enable you to develop software on your own. Okay. So what does a software development require? A basic software requires you to be able to get input from the user. Okay. And then store it somewhere on the hard disk and then you have to provide the output to the user. So input and output is okay. We will understand it also. This, this is done using simple statements. But when you have to store the data, at that time you need to know the file handling. To store the data, there are various methods. One is on the files, on other is on the database. So database part we will not be covering in the basic C course. Here we will only cover the file handling part. Moreover, this course will follow a slow and steady pace at the beginning of the course. Okay, so a starting few chapters would be like you are learning theory and theory, but don't get upset. Okay, so I request you the, that all of you should be a little patient and go along with the flow because this flow is designed to take you into programming very gradually. Okay, so it will benefit you in the future if you go through all the videos in the sequence as it is. And after around seven to eight videos, you will actually be diving into the real world of programming. Okay, so thank you for watching the video and uh, I hope you continue with the course basics of programming in C language. Have a nice day.